Coming up next on Auto Show TV, our first look at the redesigned 2016 Volkswagen Passat at Matty. Plus, we go up close with the new Toyota Tacoma at Colonial. Also, a look at two terrific SUVs at Elmwood Auto Group. We'll learn about the new aluminum body Ford F-150 at Franklin Ford, and we check out Cerrone's new showroom in South Attleboro. All that and more next on Auto Show TV. It's Auto Show TV. Hey, good morning. Welcome to Auto Show TV. Today, I'm John Coletto. Take a look at this. We're taking the new 2016 Toyota Tacoma for a little test drive, putting it through its paces. It's doing great. We're going to give you the full presentation from Colonial Toyota in Smithfield a little bit later in the show. But first, we head across the Braga Bridge and Natty Imports. There are a lot of good things happening here at Maddie Imports in Fall River, and among them, the new redesigned 2016 Volkswagen Passat has arrived. And Jonathan Tataglione, did Volkswagen improve it a little or a lot? Oh, they hit a home run, John. They did uh, quite a bit of changes to the car from the front to the back to the interior. They, uh, they, they did quite an overhaul on the vehicle. Well, I know the reviewers like it very much. It's getting some great buzz. So let's take a closer look. Let's start up front. Absolutely. The front of the car, you know, naturally the Passat is the, uh, the largest sedan that Volkswagen offers. And, uh, you know, to make a little change to the vehicle, they made it a little bit more aggressive. They've added some lines to the hood as well as some changes to the front grille, the headlights, as well as the front facet on the vehicle. Available options on the, uh, the Passat for the front are the LED headlights with uh, daytime running lights and those LED bulbs as well as your uh, AFS which is your assisted front sighting in the car. Really, really cool stuff. Well, let's take a look under the hood, Jonathan. Probably my favorite place of any car. Uh, so under the hood standard on every Volkswagen Passat is a uh, four-cylinder 1.8 liter turbocharged engine. The car makes a pretty impressive 170 horsepower, 184 foot-pounds of torque. Um, really, really impressive 38 EPA estimated miles per gallon on the highway. Um, so you get the power of a, a six-cylinder engine with a fuel economy of a four-cylinder. Uh, the design is a all-new lightweight aluminum design, and uh, they've truly maxed out what they possibly could out of, out of an engine as small as itself. And for someone who wants the V6, well, the facade comes in a V6. That's absolutely right. The, uh, the VR6, notably with Volkswagen, has been around for over 25 years, and that boasts a very powerful 280 horsepower. Absolute pleasure to drive. Well, you know, when it comes to midsize sedans, sometimes the rear leg room is compromised, but that's not the case with the Passat. We've got to take a look. Absolutely, John. That's one of the, uh, the biggest selling features on the Volkswagen Passat. In this particular class, it's usually a family car. Um, the Volkswagen Passat does have the largest in its class. So when you compare it to the other Mika models, I, I can assure you, you'll probably get lost in the back seat. Uh, with the new 2016 Volkswagen Passat, they've also added rear heated seats, so those passengers in the rear get the luxury of the same your passengers up front do. How about the trunk? Huge! <laughs> the trunk is extremely large. They've added this really, really cool easy access trunk feature. All you gotta do is lift your foot underneath the bumper and it'll actually open the trunk up for you as long as the key's in proximity. All right, John, now that we've covered a bunch of the outside of the car, why don't we uh, take a look at the inside and see some of the changes Volkswagen has made sure. for the interior of the car. Uh, you're going to notice right up top there, they, uh, they did make a bunch of changes to the actual dash display so you get some new interior trim on the vehicle to really dress it up, as well as some really, really key components and interior features. Uh, the new Discover Media radio is absolutely incredible. So they've added some things like voice active navigation. Of course, you still have your handy dandy Bluetooth controls in case those are necessary. Dual climate zone is now standard on the SE trim level and all trim levels above nice. that. Uh, great features like keyless entry, push button start is still there as well. Uh, they've redesigned the steering wheel. It is leather wrapped, a little bit more ergonomic and much more user friendly with both the uh, cruise control options as well as your volume and radio Bluetooth controls as well. Excellent. And moonroof, standard on the SE? Finally, wow. yes. Uh, Volkswagen finally got it right. You know, you don't have to go to the top the food chain to get a sunroof anymore that is a standard feature on the SC and above. Volkswagen has always been, you know, trying to be a step ahead of the curve when it comes to safety. Uh, so they finally got autonomous braking, so the post-collision system in the front of the car. So if a car happens to stop short on you, Volkswagen is going to go ahead and try and direct you away from the vehicle in case you're not paying attention. As well as rear traffic alerts, so maybe if you're backing out of a spot and you can't see things, right. the Volkswagen will stop itself as well. And probably one of the coolest features is uh, the car will actually drive itself. You have a park pilot system now. You can actually drive up to 30 miles an hour past an open spot, and if the car detects an opening, it'll let you know, and it'll guide you in what to do with your hands off the wheel, just controlling the braking gas itself. Yeah. And lane departure. Lane departure, lane warning systems. If you happen to slide over, it's going to beep at you and let you know. You also got your blind spot monitoring system, so maybe if you're about to make a lane change and somebody was there, you didn't see them, the car's going to notify you as well. The midsize sedan is definitely the most competitive market in the United States. Research has shown that. 
Uh, there's a lot of great cars out there. Uh, the Volkswagen Passat has done a great job of really connecting the driver with the road. You know, it's a car that's gonna be safe, but it's also gonna be really fun to drive. The price point on the Passat has been absolutely incredible recently. Uh, I definitely think it's something to consider. And uh, if you haven't you know, looked at it, you definitely wanna put it on your radar. And here at Natty Imports in Fall River, you've got the 2016 Passats rolling in. I've got the 2016 Passats here and in stock, and they're ready for test drives, and more certainly and more importantly, to drive home. And to close out 2015, John, Volkswagen has put out their signed and drive event, and where else to go but to Natty uh, Volkswagen here in Fall River, Massachusetts, where without any questions, you will get the most upfront and aggressive pricing. So believe it or not, it has been 10 years since the last redesign. Why? Because you don't mess with success. The all new 2016 redesigned Toyota Tacoma is here at Colonial Toyota in Smithfield, Auto Show TV's Toyota experts. You've probably already seen the commercials and the slogan, play now. The motorcycles are flying by, the donuts in the sand and the jumps. This new generation Tacoma is a complete redesign. From the rugged exterior to the refined interior and the instrument panel, there's a new engine. We have a lot to show you. Even with all the notable improvements, Toyota really didn't drift very far from its proven Tacoma formula. Let's start with the exterior. There are five trim levels, SR, SR5, TRD Sport, TRD Off-Road, and Limited. And one thing about Tacoma owners, they do like to get them dirty. 40% of Tacoma sold are TRD models. The front grille has a new look, sporty, aggressive, a lot of chrome, LED lights, daytime running lights are standard, and fog lights are available. The doors have been redesigned using new high strength steel, which they utilize throughout the vehicle. The steel is stronger, but it's also lighter. Lighter means better gas mileage. There's no more regular cab model now in the Tacoma, only the access cab and the double cab. The access cab comes with a 73.7 inch long bed. The double cab comes with two choices, the 60.5 inch short bed or the long bed. And talking about the beds, all 2016 Tacomas come standard with a rugged, fiber-reinforced, sheet-molded composite bed. Really, really nice as you can see. Plus the 120-volt outlet comes on the TRD and Limited models. It also has four fixed tie-downs and four adjustable tie-downs. And the tailgate is lockable. And check this out. The Tacoma has a new easy lower tailgate. Doesn't slam down. That's nice. A new three-piece bumper, which is designed for maximum durability, and you've got your electrical connections for your trailer that are built right into the bumper. And the new Tacoma comes with two engine choices. Now this one's the new 3.5 liter V6 direct injection engine. This engine takes the place of the 4.0 from the previous generation Tacoma. This V6 is quieter, provides better gas mileage, and better performance. Now there's also a 2.7 liter four-cylinder rear-wheel drive in the 4x2 or a four-wheel drive in the 4x4. And on all four-wheel drive models, you can get either a six-speed manual or six-speed automatic transmission. Here we are inside the new Tacoma. Older Tacoma owners probably won't even recognize the layout, the new instrument panel, the new dash. It has been completely redesigned, but it's still very user-friendly. And another thing about the interior cabin, it's much quieter because it's better insulated. But it definitely has a new contemporary flair, as you can see, a more refined interior, but it's keeping with the sport truck image. You can get either the 6.1 inch or the large seven inch touchscreen. And this new short neck shifter is a new design and it comes in leather. Now the seats are great, you can get leather, heated leather front seats are available along with a leather wrapped steering wheel. You get your GPS nav, Bluetooth, USB port, also an auto dimming rear view mirror, keyless entry and ignition is available, dual zone climate control as well. And available is a terrific upgraded sound system with JBL speakers and a subwoofer. There's also an upgraded infotainment bundle with the larger touchscreen, the Entune app suite, HD radio, and integrated navigation. And of course, Toyotas are known for their safety features. And in this new Tacoma, you get plenty of airbags, active front headrests, you're surrounded by all that high string steel we talked about to protect the integrity of the passenger compartment. That is so important. Also features available like rear parking sensors, a blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert, and of course your backup camera. And all 2016 Tacomas feature traction and stability control, brake assist, and don't forget the star safety system. 
And look up here. This is new and standard on all new 2016 Tacomas. This is an integrated GoPro mount. How about that? Oh, there it is, the all new 2016 Toyota Tacoma. It's been a while, 10 years since the last redesign, but Toyota really did a terrific job. And they're here at Colonial Toyota in Smithfield. And one more thing, and you probably already know this, Toyota Tacomas hold their value. They hold their resale value. So if you're interested in the new Tacoma, come here to Colonial Toyota. All trim levels are starting to come in. Check the website, they post them as soon as they arrive, but understand they don't last long once they come here. They know their Tacomas here, Colonial Toyota in Smithfield. Next up, comparing two terrific SUVs from Elmwood. This is Auto Show TV. The official auto loan provider of Auto Show TV is Navigant Credit Union for all your new used and classic car and truck financing needs. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. Hey, I thought we were going to the dog park. Nah, this is going to be way more fun. So many choices, so many choices. I can see everything. Nobody beats Subaru's symmetrical all-wheel drive. I'm all about the value. I like the top-rated safety. Look at all the room back here. Yeah, we sure need it with the way mom shops. Hey, you're right. These people at Anchor are great. Can I come back when you get service, Mom? Anchor Subaru loves pets, and pets love Anchor. If you'd like more information about any of the dealers and deals you've seen on today's show or would like to view previous episodes of Auto Show TV, go to our website, theautoshow.tv. If you're in search of a larger size SUV, there are two behind us here that should definitely be on your radar. The Jeep Grand Cherokee and the Dodge Durango. And Dennis Freeman from Elmwood Auto Group, although there are a lot of similarities in the two vehicles, each kind of has their own identity, correct? Let's talk about that. They sure do, and here they are. Fraternal twins, as I like to call them. Both share a lot of the same DNA, but both are unique in their own individual ways. The Grand Cherokee is a five-passenger SUV, where the Durango is a seven-passenger SUV. Both share the same platform as far as suspension. It, they, they both have a quadra-coil suspension. They're both powered by the same available power plants, either the 3.6-liter Pentastar V6, which generates 300 horsepower, or the legendary Hemi, which generates 375 horsepower. But like I said, between the two, the biggest difference is the fact that the Durango is available with a third row seat. Like I said, it's a true seven passenger SUV. And what's nice is if you don't need the seven passenger, if you simply need that extra space in the back, both seats with the pull of a strap fold down and they fold flat into the floor. Both vehicles are loaded with a lot of safety features and high end features that are normally found in luxury SUVs. Um, brands that you typically associate with Acura, BMW, Mercedes, Infiniti. And a lot of times when my customers are out shopping, they'll come back to us and they'll, they'll say in either case, the Grand Cherokee or the Durango, that they simply get more bang for their buck in, in either one. Yeah, And that's why we always try to encourage people on the show, go to the dealership, take it for a test drive, ask some questions, because you really have to touch it, see it, drive it to really understand these, these vehicles. Exactly, you're 100% right. You need to get in this driver's seat and get in behind the wheel and drive the vehicle. And you can feel the, 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 how luxurious the leather is, the heated seats, the ventilated seats, the blind spot monitoring the backup camera with eight and a half inch screen. Again, a lot of these items are associated with very expensive high-end SUVs, but here they are in both the Grand Cherokee and the Durango. What about some other differences that distinguish the two? Well, the Grand Cherokee is designed to be more of the off-road vehicle between the two. Of course, Jeep, the name Jeep is always associated with off-road, trail-rated. 
The Grand Cherokee has a more sophisticated four-wheel drive system than the Durango. Now, the, the Durango's four-wheel drive system is, is a fantastic system. You don't have to worry about anything in the snow, especially here in New England where that's a big concern. But the Grand Cherokee has a system that will actually transfer power front to back, side to side, and diagonally. So if only one wheel had traction, it would transfer all of the available power to that one wheel that was still on uh, dry pavement. Besides five passengers versus seven passenger, for all the moms and dads who have kids, is there one versus the other that's a little more kid friendly? I'd have to say that is the Durango. Uh, just being seven passenger with the available third row seat, another cool feature with the Durango is the DVD system. The Durango has a dual DVD system that actually retracts from the headrests of behind the driver and passenger seat. How do they compare price-wise? Both are very similar. Depending on which trim level you select will obviously determine the price. But on the entry level Durango, which still comes very nicely equipped, with items such as power seats, power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, rear heat and AC, rear backup camera, which is now standard, and the same level of options for the Grand Cherokee. They start right around $30,000. And as you step up in trim levels, obviously you step up in price. But each option package is comparable in each model. How's the availability at Elmwood? The availability is great. We stock as many SUVs as possible, especially during this time of year. The Grand Cherokee, which is award-winning, is one of our best sellers, as is the Durango. So we have plenty in stock to choose from. Well, Dennis, I think my conclusion is either way can't go wrong. You really can't go wrong. Both are great choices, whether it's the Grand Cherokee or the Durango. Like I said, both are phenomenal values. I'd like to say that every month is a great time to buy a vehicle. But the end of the year and December, where we're celebrating our end of the year blockbuster sales event, now is the time to come down, get yourself a great deal on a four-wheel drive SUV at Elmwood Auto Group in East Providence, Rhode Island. Well, it's truck season, and here at Franklin Ford and Franklin Mass, they do sell a lot of trucks. They sell a lot of F-150s, they're truck experts. And Jeff Smith, all the talk now with the new F-150 is the aluminum body. Tell us about that. Big breakthrough. Sure. So, so Ford has been um, kind of studying the concept for a few years. And finally, the cost and the technology have kind of come together to make it um, the right time to, to do this. So what Ford has done um, in 2015, they went to an all-aluminum military-grade body. Uh, what that means for the customer is you're buying a truck that is just as durable as a steel truck, about 700 pounds lighter, which means better gas mileage. And Jeff, just as strong. It is just as strong. In the bottom frame, that is still steel. Uh, the aluminum body is military grade, so it is just as durable, if not more so. Um, it is still getting five-star ratings on the safety crash test. It's a game changer. It's a big game changer, and I will tell you that other manufacturers are now kind of piggybacking off of Ford, and they're investigating aluminum bodies as well. Well, Jeff, let's talk about some of the other reasons why the F-150 is so popular. And we could start with just the fact that there are so many possibilities. Ford has a truck for everybody. Um, no matter what your needs are, no matter um, what you're looking for in a truck, we'll have one for you. Um, and so the Ford will come in the XL, the XLT, the Lariat, and our feature truck here is, is the Platinum. Um, and even within those trim levels, there are different combinations, different packages that really we can customize a truck for you. Ford uh, makes their F-150s in three different cab sizes and also three different bed sizes. Now on our Platinum here, this is the Super Crew Cab, mm -hmm. which is the full four-door, um, almost like an SUV size type of type of cab configuration. Yep. You can also get the Super Crew, Super Cab, which is um, still has a back seat, um, not the full four-door. And then of course you've got the traditional regular cab, which is the traditional um, two-door F-150. And the bed sizes are uh, five and a half, six and a half, and eight foot beds. Um, this one here is a five and a half foot bed. So our F-150s come with a backup camera. Sure. Um, so that way you can kind of see uh, where you're backing into a parking spot and also if you're uh, hooking up a, a, a tow hitch. This vehicle here, in addition, comes to the rear sensors. So in addition to seeing what's behind you, you can also be able to hear what's behind you. Um, comes with a tow hitch and also already wired and fitted uh, for whatever kind of trailer you're going to be towing. Great. And guess what doesn't slam down anymore? That's it. The power, huh? power lift gate on this one. 
also has LED lights in the back, so if somebody's working uh, at night, uh, loading the truck, unloading the truck, you've got lights in the back here. And also, um, something with our, our Platinum here, it has a step. For people like me, we need a little help that. getting up into the back. Well, Jeff, let's get to the best part, which is getting inside and driving. Absolutely, which for many people, this is kind of an office on wheels. Yeah. And the first thing that you'll notice as I open the door, the power side steps come out. And as you get into the vehicle and close the door, they'll pop back up. It's nice. Well, one of the things I can really start with is storage. There is just limitless storage in these vehicles, from the, from the storage on the side doors, to the storage in the center console, um, the tray in front of the, the shift, the glove compartment. So this F-150 has the eight inch screen, which is where your uh, navigation system will be visible. And this is also where you'll see uh, your backup camera. Um, you'll notice when you pull up the screen, there are two lines which will help line you to your parking spot. And one of the features with Ford is it'll have a, a third line in the middle, which will help you line up your tow hitch. Everything in the vehicle is, is voice commanded. Um, it has sync services, so you can you pair your smartphone to the vehicle. One of the things that truly distinguishes Ford, uh, there is no mistaking the comfort of driving an F-150. Um, this one here has uh, leather seats, which are heated and air conditioned. You can actually air condition your seats. This has um, a heated steering wheel. This one has a remote starter, so you can get all of this nice and warm from your house before you actually get into the truck into your driveway. Um, the back seat has, has tons of leg room, tons of space. Uh, this particular truck here, the back seats are heated. Uh, also has a 110 volt three prong outlet in the back seat. Really, really maximizing the, the comforts of home on the road. Uh, Ford features four different engines for their F-150s. We have two EcoBoost engines, the 2.7 liter and the 3.5 liter uh, six cylinder EcoBoost engines. Um, those will maximize your fuel economy because you're getting the gas mileage and fuel economy of a six cylinder engine, but you're still getting the power of an eight cylinder. And then they have the traditional uh, 3.5 liter six cylinder engines as well as the five liter eight cylinder. But Jeff, do you have a lot of 2016 F-150s in stock right now here? Frank we do. We have a lot. A lot of, uh, a lot of colors and a lot of trims from the XL all the way up to, to this Platinum here. Now's a great time to test drive the remarkable 2016 Ford F-150. Pick out yours at Franklin Ford. Just a short drive for Rhode Islanders on Route 140 in Franklin, Mass. Next, we go inside Cerrone's new showroom. You're watching Auto Show TV. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Huh. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. We're back on Auto Show TV and we're standing in front of the new Cerrone showroom on Route 1 in South Attleboro with Al Cerrone. Al, you finally moved in. Finally, that's the word. Now I gotta say that when our customers come to the old showroom, which they used to going to for 40 years, right? when you see the empty lot, don't panic. We didn't go away, just turn around. We're right across the street and that's what you will see, the brand new showroom. Well, Al, you ready to give us a tour? Let's go in and take a look. So John, here we are in the Buick GMC side of the show. And of course, GM wants us to do this because they are different brands as opposed to the Chevrolet. Right. So right now, we're focusing on the GMC inventory. We've got the trucks in here. But it's all about the customer experience. And I think, as they always say, picture's worth a thousand words. When the customers walk in, it's beautifully lit, it's neat, it's clean, it's got all the, you know, the conveniences for the customers, great facilities, the workstations for the salespeople are totally up to date, and of course, the way we can showcase these vehicles, right? the lighting, the presentation, you know, it's all about the presentation. Yeah. The building across the street served its purpose for many, many years, but it's gotta be good to be over here. Oh, it really is, and, and being over there, 
now when I go into the old building makes me realize how old it really was. So we needed this. So now as we head toward winter, I can see that GMC wants to really start to promote the pickups and the crossovers and the SUVs. This is that time of year. Oh, it is, John. It's four-wheel drive season. So we can start out with the GMC Canyon, which is their new smaller pickup, smaller than the full-size Sierra pickup, which is a great truck. Yeah. We have those in the showroom. And speaking of crossovers, they do such a great job with crossovers. Yeah. The GMC Acadia seats up to eight people and of course, all wheel drive. And for the smaller SUV, which is really dominating the market now, the GMC Terrain. The Chevy side, it's the same size, but on the Chevy side, we've got a few surprises in the showroom, right? But that's where we have our business offices. Of course, we have other workstations there, but when you look around, we've got an antique Chevrolet there. We've got a brand new Corvette there. We've got a little Chevy Cruze there. And of course, we have Silverado trucks. And when you walk down the hallway, you've got that beautiful customer lounge with that giant TV and snacks and water and coffee and of course our big fish tank. And the service department is right there. So in, in case of bad weather, customers don't ever have to leave the building. Right, and it's so nice to have sales and service in the same building, same side of the street. It really is. You know, that walking across the street after a while, it got a little old. Yeah, and you've got a much bigger lot. You can carry so many more vehicles in, we in inventory. We do. And you know, that ultimately is so much better for the customer because you know, when people look at it, they say, oh, you spent all that money on a showroom. Our car is like more expensive. No, they're not. Now we have a lot more room. We can inventory more cars and trucks and we know how hot trucks are right now. And when you have more and you sell more, that means you can bring the price down. So it actually works in the customer's benefit. And of course, you're still selling a lot of pre-owned and programmed vehicles. We do. Of course, we always have plenty of used vehicles, just regular used cars. But program has always been our specialty. And these are very lightly used current model year. Like right now, we've got the 2015 Chevy Cruises on sale, low mileage for $14.9. And this is a great deal. This is a car that was $21,000 and we're selling now $14.9. Kind of like trying to kick off this whole brand new thing, and that's a special. Yep. John, I gotta tell you, I love pickup trucks. And Chevy builds a good one. I know you do. We're sitting on a Colorado, and this is a big award winner. Yes, it is. As a matter of fact, all the Chevy trucks are award winners. They've earned three top awards. But the only way you'll know why is to come in and drive one. All right, come down here and see the beautiful new Cerrone showroom. Car, truck, SUV, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, all right here at the new, beautiful Cerrone showroom. How about that? Come to Cerrone's and you'll be glad you did. That'll wrap up this week's Auto Show TV. Our thanks to Dave Donfro and the gang at Colonial Toyota for letting us take this new, beautiful 2016 Toyota Tacoma for a little test drive. Hey, it's the holiday season. Be especially careful on the roadways. Don't drink and drive, and don't text and drive. This has been Auto Show TV, produced in cooperation with Auto Intelligence. Thanks to our participating dealers and sponsors. This has been Auto Show TV.